Okay guys, it's Friday and as you saw in my intro, I was playing around with the dice or running with my tractor software and tonight guys, I'm going to be breaking it down for you for all the guys who are using tractor like me. It's a little bit more tricky to get the dice to the work and I'm going to be showing you all the different things you're going to be needing and the step-by-step -step process to actually get it to work with your tractor software, alright? For the guys who are watching right now, if you're using Serato, it's easy. If you have it already, all you have to do is plug it back in. It's all plug and play. It was really designed for you guys, but there is a mapping that was made by Novation. In fact, they have drivers for it. The mapping, in fact, was made by DJ Tech Tools, and it's on the Novation website. So I'm going to be showing you guys how to actually get it, how to get the drivers, how to get the mapping from DJ Tech Tools, and how to actually set it up and get it to work. All right, guys? So stick around, get comfortable. We are going to have a wonderful show tonight. All right, guys. So stick around. I'll be right back. Okay, guys. Now, if you take a look at my screen, let me bring my screen up. And if you take a look at my screen, guys, I want you to go to Google and I want you to type in how to use dicers with tractor. Type that into the search window, all right? And when you type that in, you are going to look for this link right here. It's going to say support.novationmusic.com. When you see this link, I want you to click on this link right here. And when you click on it, it will take you to the Novation website. And when you get there, it's going to say, does the DICER work with NI, which is Native Instruments Tractor Scratch? And yeah, we all know it does because I've just shown you guys. When you get to the site, actually, I want you to go to this link right here that says Novation website. Click on that link and bam, it's going to take you to the Novation website directly. All right, guys? Now, when you get to the Novation website, two things I want you to do. If you're running Windows, you will get the Windows drivers right here, which is this one here. If you are running on a Mac, you're going to need the Mac drivers right here. Then, I want you to go down here and you can download the DJ Tech Tools mapping, all right? There is multiple versions of it here. Just pick one and download it to your computer all right because you're going to need the mapping so after you're done you're going to install the drivers onto your computer and guys that part's easy just click the file and follow the instructions and stuff and do the install all right install the drivers and when you're done installing the drivers what you're going to do now guys is you are going to have to go into the native instrument software and actually Add it in to your controller settings, all right? So I'm going to be showing you how to do that as well. Let me move some stuff real quick so I can actually transfer over to that screen because I got like five screens right here, guys. So now, this is what the actual mapping file would look like. If you notice my screen here, this is what it's going to be looking like. You're going to see the Native Instrument um, symbol on it right here. Now, this file, you can leave it on your desktop if you want. So what I'm saying? You can always put it on a desktop, just leave it there, or you can put it in a native instrument folder if you want. But you're going to always have to have this for it to actually work. So make sure you keep this file handy. Do not delete it. Don't set it up and then put it somewhere else. Preferably, if you want, leave it on the desktop. That way you always know it's there. And as long as it's there, your dices will always work. So that way you don't get tempted to delete it or anything. Or if you want, you can put it in a native instrument folder. Me, I'm leaving it on a desktop so I know it's there. And once it's there, the dicers will never fail me. So leave it on a desktop like that, guys. And it's perfectly fine, all right? So now, what we are going to do is you're going to need to bring it up into the track to software itself and once again let me 
let me minimize my screen and bring that up there we go so now guys once you have the drivers installed which is easy i didn't have to go through that everyone knows how to install a driver it's a file you double click it you follow the instructions you get it done i'm trying to save time here and open and launch your tractor software make sure you have the dice connected by the way because you should have already known that if you have dices at all so what we would normally do is we go into the settings here for the guys with who are running um tractor go into your settings see the icon right here click on the settings button and you're gonna go into right here go into device setup which is let me see right here go to controller manager my bad you're gonna go to controller manager go into device setup and you are gonna click add the add button here and when you click the add button you'll be able to browse for it itself so you can go here it's not going to be on the list guys so when you click into the the add feature come all the way down to import tsi and you're not going to see innovation dice are listed so what you're going to do is going to go to import other and then when you click on that it will give you a chance to now browse for the file all right and all you have to do now is you know it's on the desktop just like i told you just click here desktop look for the file this is it right here and all you have to do is it's here already just click open to open the file itself and i can do that right there and then once i added the dicer itself to the device list right here all you have to do now is make sure that import is set to novation dicer and the output is also set to novation dicer itself and that's it what time is now 9 p.m paul yep so at 9 p.m all you have to do now guys is to hit close is this right here hit the close button and you are in all right so now once i put a track on and let me lift the camera right here and i'm gonna have it play again if you notice right here guys put the needle back on and there we go and no edits right here man i'm going straight and if you notice it's playing guys let me turn the camera around real quick and there we go now check this out guys once again I got 2.1 set and here we go from the beginning and there we go and thanks once again man for just joining me all right guys so I'm gonna end the vlog as usual peace and salute from West Palm Beach and I am out of here. See you guys tomorrow, man. It's a Saturday. We're going to have some fun as usual. It's my movie night, but the vlog will continue, all right? So see you guys tomorrow, man. Peace.